Hey guys, JB, really quick, before we do a show today, before we get started, I wanna say thank you to a couple people, stopped over at my PO box today, and uh, had uh, some really nice letters. Um, I'm just gonna go through a few of these. I wanna thank uh, Eric in La Jolla, thank you very much for that. I wanna thank uh, Kent in Iowa for the donation. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that, Kent. I wanna thank Vladimir for the donation. Uh, Vladimir out in New York, really appreciate that. Um, I wanna thank Goat Guns in Utah. They sent me this AR-15 replica model right here. It comes as a model, you put it together. Uh, it has a, a real charging handle. You can um, drop the mag, with this little button right here, the mag drops out. Um, it's got a functioning um, uh, stock, and it's really, really cool. So uh, I don't have the whole thing put together yet, but about 90% of it. So to Goat Guns, very cool little things. You can check them out. You can go online, check out Goat Guns. Very, very cool. Uh, dust cover, functioning dust cover, pretty cool. I can drop the mag, boom, reload. There you go, really, really cool. Thanks a lot, really appreciate that. I'll put that on my desk. Uh, also want to thank um, uh, Thomas in, uh, where's Thomas from? Texas, I'm not gonna give the exact city, but Thomas out of Texas, thanks. You sent me uh, three t-shirts, very, very cool. Uh, really appreciate that. So again, thank you everybody for the nice letters, the postcards, the gifts, the donations. Um, thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate that. And I'm, I'm really glad that a lot of you enjoy the videos and that you know we can um, really learn a lot just in the comments uh, from the videos and that you know it's just, um, refreshing to know that there are like-minded people who don't hate America, who actually are concerned about America, love America, and want to see only great things happen here in America. And for people out there, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that are thinking just like you and me. There's a lot of true American patriots out there, so you're not alone. So thank you so much for the support, number one. Thank you for just supporting and watching the channel, and, and, and thank you for the uh, donations. Um, it pays for ink, paper, equipment, and time to put it all together. And uh, I'm glad I can be of assistance to opening and maybe waking up some people. So thanks again. Let's get started. As I sit here this evening, it feels kind of like the calm before the storm. In fact, this January, you just kind of get that feeling of this, this calm before the storm. Dow Jones down 86 points today, down around six on Friday. So we're two days in a row now, negative. But really not a whole lot has been happening in these markets. They've been kind of just flat. And so it just seems really calm. Not a lot of gigantic volatility, yet some volatility, but not the kind of volatility we saw um, ending the year 2018. Um, but there are some very concerning things happening right now. I believe 2019 is gonna be a very chaotic year. It's gonna be a very important year. It's gonna tell us a lot about the direction this country's going in. But one of the things I think we, we need to really be concerned about that is happening in regards to the government shutdown is if this thing extends into February, we're looking at nearly 40 million people in this country who will not be eating. Uh, these, these people are on EBT, they're on food stamps. And again, almost 40 million people that rely on this government for their food. And so what happens if um, these people are not able to eat come this February? Um, I think as the old saying goes, we're nine meals away from civil unrest. Um, we could see civil unrest occur in 2019 if uh, these people are not receiving their food stamps. and. Um, these people, if they're not receiving their food stamps, they're going to be angry. They're going to be agitated. They're going to want to lash out. And so we could definitely see some violence in the streets of America taking place early this year if 
this government shutdown continues uh, into February. Uh, we're really a fragile country at this point. 78% of American workers in America are living paycheck to paycheck. And you have nearly or around 100 million people on government subsidies, near 40 million Americans on food stamps in this country. So what I find kind of interesting is yet these politicians want to continue to flood us with unskilled and uneducated illegal aliens into America. They want to keep flooding us with these people, yet we have 40 million people on food stamps. We have 100 million people on government subsidies, yet we want to bring more and more unskilled uneducated people into America to do what? We are going to lose millions of jobs in the next few years here in America due to AI and technology. These type of jobs that AI is going to be replacing are going to be these unskilled, uneducated type jobs. Why especially are these Democrats so keen on bringing more of these people in when we all know that millions of these jobs in, in these um, sectors are not going to be here once AI and technology replaces them. What are we going to do with all these unskilled and uneducated people in America when more AI and technology replaces their jobs? Why do they want these people in America so bad? Ask yourself that. Um, you know, we have, uh, we, we've been witnessing events unfolding now in America that are, are going to set a trend for the future, that we are going to see uncertain times in America. We may see, see a shit hit the fan, an economic collapse, uh, civil unrest. There's a variety of things that we are now capable of seeing here in America. And some of the most unprepared people are going to be the people who are dependent on the government, the people who are on food stamps, the people who work for the government. These are going to be the most unprepared people in the entire country, people who've trusted the government, people, again, who rely on the government. These will be the most unprepared people um, once we see a collapse, shit hit the fan situation take place. But there's so many people in America that think that this could never happen. They, they think that we can never have an economic collapse in America. We can never have civil unrest in America. We can never have an invasion in America. We can never have an EMP. Our grid can never be attacked. All based on because we're America. That just can't happen. So this is the uh, mentality that we're dealing with here in America, that America just can't see bad times because it's America and that just doesn't happen to America. And this is just how unprepared 99% of this country is and how dumbed down 99% of this country is. Um, you know, we have uh, 42% of Americans that don't have $400 saved up, don't have access to $400 cash money to fix a flat tire, to go to an urgent care when, they're, when their uh, kid is sick, going to urgent care if they cut their finger and need you know, 10 stitches. They don't have $400 saved up. And it blows my mind that so many people are so naive and so dependent and trusting of the government, yet these are some of the brokest people that have nothing. Most people have no net worth. They're negative. If they die today, they would owe money. Not many people in America would could die today and actually have something to give their family members, uh, pass on to their kids. Most people would be leaving debt. So we are witnessing the dumbing down of America, the weakening of America. We're watching the um, disappearance of the middle class, the backbone of America. Um, you know, have you noticed, I don't know about you, but you know, take a drive around your, your, some of your local areas and you're gonna see four, five, six, seven, eight cars in the driveway. Why do you think that is? We're in a point now in America where people can't even afford to pay their mortgages. They're renting rooms. They're bringing relatives to live with them to help pay the bills. This is the standard of living in America now where, you know, two, three families have to live together to make ends meet, to pay the bills. Something drastically is going to have to change here in America. You know, people, um, when you have half the country making $30,000 or less, what we're seeing is an implosion of, of people becoming um, indebted uh, with bills.
uh, people are, are living uh, paycheck to paycheck. They're living off of credit cards. They're paying bills with credit cards. They're, they're paying emergencies with credit cards. You know, it's getting harder and harder to pay your bills as the price of food goes up, your medical bills go up, yet the money you're making at work, your paycheck isn't going up. It's not keeping up with your standard of living. It's not keeping up with the real inflation. Um, you know, people, we're looking at household debt at record numbers now. It's at a record high. Um, we're looking at corporate debt at a record high. Um, you, you know, your income is not increasing, but your debt and your bills are. You know, there's a, a lot of uh, videos out there, you know, people picking this year or that year or next year or whatever, when something big is going to happen. But I think right now we're witnessing um, something happening right now. We're witnessing events taking place right now. Um, look at the retail sector getting annihilated. We look at the housing market falling off of a cliff. Commercial real estate, horrible. Uh, the auto sector, um, look at the unfunded pensions. 70% of the pensions in America are unfunded. Look at Chicago, only 26% of the Chicago pensions are funded. We're looking at our, our urban cities, um, some of our big cities, our states, they're completely bankrupt, broke. Where do you think this is going to lead America? Do you really think America is heading in the right direction? I, I think all people who love this country better be very concerned where we're going and what we're going to do when we get there. Because I believe at some point we're going to hit rock bottom in this country. And if you're not ready for it, it's going to be an awful time for you. It, it's going to be a literal nightmare. And it's going to be rough times for the most prepared people. But there is no way America is getting out of this debt. It's not, it, it, there's no way we're getting out of where we're at right now without feeling severe pain. The air, you, you know, we hear about volatility, we hear about bubbles. Um, the bubble's been pricked. Air is coming out of the bubble right now. Um, we're looking at uh, $22 trillion of debt here in America. This was a, an article today on Zero Hedge. And if you take unfunded liabilities, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, if you take these unfunded liabilities, we're looking at $122 trillion plus in debt just here in the United States of America. Um, so what's in store in these markets? We're going to start continue, continuing to see more of the fourth quarter earnings for 2018. I think that's going to be a negative. Um, another big negative is, of course, China. Uh, the trade talks have gone nowhere. So I think that that's not going to be a positive for the markets, but yet, yet it will be a negative. But another big thing with China is their growth is slowing down. We're seeing global growth slowing way down. That is going to affect our markets. Um, quantitative tightening taking place. We still have uh, the chance of two rate hikes for 2019. Um, but again, Global slowdown, China slowing way down will be affecting our markets. So um, U.S. futures are up currently right now. We'll see what tomorrow brings us. But I don't think the outlook is good. I mean, again, look at all the sectors across the board. And then the airlines, uh, are, you know, the, the uh, airline profits or, or airline earnings have not been that great either. So everything is suffering. Um, and uh, the outlook for 2019 across the board is not very positive. So I don't know what is going to push these markets up farther than they've already been pushed, except more manipulation and more rigging, uh, more good news on uh, China negotiations. But how long does that last before the market says, hey, we've heard that a million times before? Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, my best advice is, again, continue stacking silver and gold, the two most undervalued assets in the entire world. Um, I think we're in a time now where we have to be very, very cautious. I think this is not the time to be risking things with paper. I think you need to be protecting yourself with metal, not paper. We are heading into very deep, uncharted waters, waters in this country right now, and we have no idea um, what we're about to, to see here in 2019. Again, all the sectors across the board, um, they did horrible last fourth quarter of 2018. The outlook, most of the sectors, the outlook for 2019 is very flat, if not negative. Um, we're seeing, again, a divided country. We're going to continue to see civil unrest. We've got a government shutdown where, 
February could be a very interesting month. What if these people cannot get food? It's going to be a problem. Um, we have a lot of problems across the board and who knows, it takes literally one event and, um, Things in America uh, can be ca can be chaotic instantly, um, but we are living in just a very challenging time. And I think that the only advice I can give from one human being to the other is: you better be stacking meadows. You better be putting food and water away because if we do hit, see a shit hit the fan situation in America, you do not want to be unprepared for it. Um, you know our grid is under has been under attack uh multiple times and so all it takes is one bad day and you're gonna wish you were prepared for it it's gonna just take one event we're one event away from seeing a time in america that could possibly go down in the history books you don't want to be the person that regrets not preparing for himself and and his family so do the right thing you have a duty at least to protect your family don't take a chance Anything is possible now. Um, these markets are, 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 are a Ponzi scheme. They're an illusion. Don't believe everything the media is telling you. Things are not that great. We've never seen a more volatile time or as many bubbles at once that we're seeing right now. So be prepared for it. Listen, let's pray and hope that nothing happens. But I think without a doubt, we're not escaping the hole that we dug, this, the, the $22 trillion plus dollars of debt. I don't think that this country can escape the damage um, of living on a credit card for decades um, without feeling severe pain, without seeing uh, some, un, some very ev large events unfold here in this country. So I think if you're really worried about what you're seeing happening in this country. I think if you're really concerned about the direction that America is going into, that the, the direction of the financial uh, situation, the social situation, if you're concerned about it, then do yourself a big favor. Protect yourself, protect your family. Make sure you're stacking precious metals. Make sure you have food and water put away and make sure you have security. And just cover as many bases that you can. And most people are going to go, well, I don't have that much money. You, listen, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Maybe that means you're not going out to dinner this weekend. Maybe that means you're not going on a weekend getaway. Maybe um, you're just going to have to live a little more conservatively to put away. But at least you can sleep at night knowing you have the insurance that if something happens, you and your family are going to have a chance and you're going to be protected. This is going to be a very uncomfortable time for every American, but it's going to be the most uncomfortable for the people who aren't prepared. And that's going to be the majority of people here in this country. Don't be the majority. Do, do what the minority is doing. Be an independent, free thinking human being. Don't follow the herd because the herd is going to take you right off the cliff. The majority, the herd, they always lose. Be an individual, be a free thinker. Okay. Think outside of the box. Those are the people who survive guys continue to pray for this country, pray for this president. We live in the greatest damn country in the world and we cannot lose it. God bless you guys. I will talk to you very, very soon. Have a incredible week. Be awake, be prepared. Talk to you soon.